What's the point? I know what it's like to be a nobody. But as bad as that felt, I'd rather be nobody than nothing. And that is exactly what you're going to be if you don't quit feeling sorry for yourself. You don't give a shit about me. You're only saying all of this to save your own tuckers. That is 100% true. But think about it this way. If you give up now, your story is a forgettable, disappointing defeat. But if you take up your narration once again, you can turn your tale into something beloved by all, told and retold time after time. A comeback. What do you want me to do? Keep me joy in my heart. Keep me praising. Give me joy in my heart, I pray. <clears throat> there he stood. Anointed with purpose, Ezekiel, born of the most Herculean and timeless of creatures. Father, is that you? No. Ezekiel realized that it wasn't God. It couldn't be, because he was God all along. Huh? For who else was more powerful than the cockroach? Who else could survive mass extinctions, plagues, and nuclear explosions? No one! Only I! Only Ezekiel! And if he wanted Armageddon, he would have to manifest revelations himself. Yes! I am ready! Now was the time for the meek to inherit the Earth. It was time for the meek to devour it. Devour? <sighs> Three o'clock, behind the BMW. Why? A god would not be sated on scraps of guano alone. Ezekiel had a new appetite. He desired to eat the world. Yes! Now, having tasted the great cyborg, Ezekiel's craving for power grew. I am 